I've still been going. It's a little bit slower. The junkyard and picked up a couple extra bushing brackets for the trailing arms for the front end. So what we're gonna do is cut this ball off and then have these plates which are mirror images of each other so that we can use that for helping fab up the mounts to mount them up. We're gonna have to clean up that whole area back there, back in there, so that we can have a good surface to weld on. So when dad gets home from work, we're gonna try to get those mounted up. Other things that need to happen for the front end conversion, it's basically the steering situation where this, where the rag joint used to go, right here, apparently it's splined up underneath this. So you have to be really careful and cut both sides and then try to pry it off without breaking the splining. Then we can figure out a mounting situation to get this to go up there. Probably have to buy some steering components, some Borks and Universal joints or something. And other news, off of a Crown Victoria taxi cab, they've got just the plain steel, which I think is gonna be just fine for this build. So I'll have to go buy some tires. The tires on them are junk, but for 20 bucks I got this set and the seat cover seat that I'm rebuilding which I might do in a different video or show later but I'm trying to keep as much of the original seat as possible it's pretty junked I'll cover that later or in a different video but I've been working on the seat a lot the last couple days but for right now I guess we'll But I haven't felt like keeping up with the camera, so today's progress. Calipers are pulled off, painted. I used header paint because it's up to like 1500 degrees. I imagine caliper paint something similar. Gets up to high temperatures and needs to withstand it. Putting the new brake rotors on. Nice and shiny and new. Cleaning up the area back there so we can mount the trailing arms later today. There's brand new brakes all around and it looks real sharp. Also, took a wire wheel to the uh, steel rims, put about three or four layers of flat black on them. Gonna call it good on that. And go buy some tires sometime in the next couple days so that whenever this all gets done, I have something to drop it on and we can see what kind of a lean we've got. From all of the uh, things I've read online, I'm expecting at least a decent five inch drop in the front, even with matching up the tires to somewhat match the ones in the rear. Getting there slowly but surely. I forgot about the camera. So uh, we figured out something to fab up for the trailing arm mount. So let's get it welded in.
Well, work late into the night again. Working by work light. Way better than flashlight. And this is what we have for the control arm mount. Uh, this is mainly dad's design. I had read the idea of using a second set of plates from the Crown Vic. What he did was swapped the original brackets because everybody else's sticks out here because they use them in the same spot. So we just swapped sides so it stuck up underneath the frame. And then we have that welded up and then altered with grade 8 bolts and it's all level. What we had to do on this side is uh, there was a smaller bolt that we needed to use and it actually got welded to the top so that we could run the bolt or the nut up through the bottom. It's hard to see because I'm holding a light but it's pretty sleek and hidden tucked up underneath there. It sticks out a little bit on each side but not a whole lot. It's up there. A lot of work for a little little thing. Here you can see it's a clean little job. So tomorrow we'll get the other side and uh, 